Ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a countdown. Okay, three, two, one, go. All right. So I might have to restart a couple of times in this first level. Because it has a difficult trick at the very start right here. Oh, yeah. oh wrong bind. There we go. Nice. Uh, that's pretty much the reason why you start off with this episode, is because of that trick. Like, you can pick the episodes in any order. And in a speedrun, you would most rather do this episode first, because it's by far the hardest. This level and this level as well, and the level coming up right after this one, are among the hardest to run. Oh yeah, my one of my binds are wrong. I know which one. I'm going to fix it after this level. If you press forward every time you land... Oh yeah, I bunny up by the way, I haven't... Wait, I'm just gonna get this... My binds are wrong. There we go. I'm gonna press forward every time you land from bunny hop, but my config was reset or something, so it didn't have that. Oh, come on, dude. But yeah, this jump skips getting the silver key. It's pretty precise, but it's not that difficult. Like that. So this is... This might be the hardest level in the run to uh, do uh, fast. I mean, get, to get a good time in. Standard nade boost. You're really dependent on the enemy in this enemies in this level, what they do. And um, I think I kill that guy. But yeah, I think the gameplay is. Whoops, no boost. <laughs> Good boost. <laughs> but yeah, I think the gameplay is self explanatory for the most part. I take damage. Um, and by taking damage, you increase, well, your speed, like that. And then I can maintain the speed by bun uh, doing by jumping. Oops, that's <laughs> and I can. Oops, almost died. It's okay. Nine HP. But uh, I don't recall what I was talking about, but uh, yeah, game is plays self-explanatory, I hope. And um, I used a shotgun to time the uh, nade boost. Because um, Quake has, you know, a long history of with, you know, speed running and um, like pretty much everyone, like back when the Quake was, you know, the most popular back in like early 2000s, everyone was using uh, like grenade timers and such to time the nade jumps. But uh, we figured out a way to uh, get perfect nade jumps every time without having to uh, use a uh, a mod or hack, whatever. Oops. Oh yeah, not a. The game has auto aim on by default. <laughs> so you can't hit that sort of like area where you need to hit because there's a zombie in the way. And the game wants you to shoot the zombie because of the built in auto aim, but you can disable it. So that's episode four. Next, I'm heading to episode three. It doesn't really matter at this point. Both, I would say, both episode three and episode one are of equal difficulty in a speedrun. I need skip. Pretty much skip the entire level by doing that. And uh, upwards slopes 
when you jump up a slope you get an upwards boost, boost and when you jump down a slope you get a downwards boost, boost like you get more speed instead of height nice got the first try I grenade boosted over an invisible trigger and if I were to hit that trigger I would be would have been unable to get the the silver key there as fast as I did They conveniently made like a hole in the ceiling there. You can nade boost up and skip half the level. This area right here is pretty dangerous. It's really to die. I got a good luck though. It's okay. Move out of the way. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just as it, I got bad luck with the Death Knight right there, he blocked me off in the stairway. Oops, that's not intentional. I have to wait now. Their death animation is really slow. Oops, no, I didn't get it. Oh, my restart bind is dead. Yeah, this is, it's not that hard, it's only just getting a good position on the nade right here. Oh, I didn't make it. Tunnels, a pretty cool gimmick. You travel in uh, wind tunnels. So this is uh, one large skip right here. I hit another invisible trigger. Let me go up that uh, wind tunnel earlier than what I'm supposed to. Oh, that guy blocked me. <laughs> that's weird. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I just gotta head for the exit. This is the last level in episode 3. Ugh. I missed... Oh, I don't... Uh, my binds are incorrect yet again. <laughs> I was supposed to equip the Thunderbolt there and kill the Scrags, but... I managed to get by pretty decently. Without it, the episode 3, and now I'm heading to episode 1. Okay. Enemies are standing in odd positions for some reason. Backwards boosted by a grunt. I, you can get 23 in this level if you're fast, so 27 is not the time I'm pleased with. E1 M2 is also really straightforward. There's just one jump to the silver key here, but it's really easy. Then you want to you grab this armor, so you can perform more explosive boosts later on. And bug on my arm. <laughs> E1M3 has a really neat grenade jump, probably the most well known grenade jump in the game. Oops, that was pretty poor time right there. You can skip this elevator sequence, but it's it's hard. You do it by manipulating one of those zombies to go into this sort of doorway. And once you hit the button, uh, like the sort of block or thing, whatever that is blocking me off right now, won't appear because the zombie is in the way. I'm going to uh, 
try this once. This boost is difficult. Almost got it. Whoops. One by ah, I'm not used to these binds. Yeah, you can skip getting the silver key. Oh. By just boosting off that slope with a grenade jump. And it saves roughly 8 seconds compared to getting the silver key. Good, that level. This level is really simple, you can just go jump to the gold key immediately, which skips the whole level. This is an easy boss. An easy, I'm playing it, oof, mm. almost died. <laughs> Uh, on uh, on easy, I'm playing easy difficulty because it's the most uh, sort of most like competitive difficulty for Quake single segment running, because um, Nightmare is just way too uh, luck based to perform. Whoops, too fast. <laughs> it's way too luck based, basically to uh, do in a single segment. I mean, if you want to do it well, and my easy is just way more fun to play. Let's go back. Yeah, a lot of enemies are in odd positions that I'm not used to. Hello. Is my claw damage gonna run out here? Seven is not an optimal time, to say the least. <laughs> this level is really simple as well. You just do one nay jump and you are, which pretty much skips the entire level. Bye. I'm not supposed to jump. This area section right here is pretty dangerous. Okay, I'm fine. If you're low on health, the shambler, shambler will most likely kill you. That's good. Oh, I didn't get the HP. I have to be careful now. Okay. So f a faster way of doing the beginning, right, early section right there, but since I missed to pick up the health, I just didn't want to go for it. <laughs> I have to redo the level now. You want to get, you need to get stuck in the elevator right there. Like you do it like this. But I miss, I wanted to get stuck in the elevator, but I failed to do so. And if you don't, you lose a lot of time when I get stuck like this. Don't block me. Hmm. So, 
this last level episode too. Didn't want to pick up that mega health, but doesn't matter that much. So yeah, there is nothing going on in this level at all. You just need to hit this elevator. You just want to hit this elevator trigger as soon as possible. And once you've done so, you need to. You have to wait for like a minute for this thing to uh, hit the bottom before you can proceed. Normally, there are a lot of enemies that spawn and which you have to fight. But you can avoid standing inside of the enemy triggers by uh, just standing in the, like this safe spot. So we're coming up into the final level. The battle against Shub Shub Nigurav. <laughs> yeah, the game ends as soon as I hit the teleporter here. Not a greatest run, but it was. Is it ten oh eight? Yeah, the time is ten oh eight. I'm looking at the clock. <laughs> but yeah, it was quick. Uh, my personal best is roughly three minutes faster hmm. than this. So that was Quake by Cool Kid I just finished. Next up is Star Wars Dark, Dark Forces by Lontwo Planks. And after that is William Shatner's Tech War by Oasis. Uh, this is Yellow Stream. Uh, we are, are raising money for a charity, uh, Doctors Without the Borders. They are an international independent medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency aid to people affected by armed conflict epidemics, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare. Doctors Without Borders offers assistance to people based on need, irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation.